everybody, this is Praxis. It's the end of the day today. I've been working all day uh, getting kind of the entryway of each of these uh, greenhouses uh, taken care of. I had to do a, kind of a wall in the back and then there's a header across the top. The door is going to be in there. Uh, the other side went really, really smoothly. I'm still kind of doing them in tandem, but I did the other side, um, all the boards over there. And then I was working over here, and I started to notice that some of the uh, measurements weren't really lining up on either side. Uh, like, you know, the, if you have two posts, kind of the tops would be a little bit less of a distance than the bottoms. And it started to become obvious that some of the boards on this side, some of the posts, had uh, sort of warped out of being plumb. Plumb means straight up and down, nice and vertical. Uh, and that's kind of irritating, because I was kind of working with what I had. I as you can see, there's braces on here. I'd gotten everything braced. Uh, you know, at some point, maybe, you know, just from rattling and banging things around, things had just sort of slipped out of being perfectly vertical anymore. And then I kind of kept building, uh, you know, based on where the boards were, not realizing that they'd slipped out of, uh, out of being plumb. So uh, I've, I've spent the last hour or so just, uh, you know, putting a level on things, kind of figuring out what's, where the problems are, you know, what's still straight, what's not straight kind of uh, rebracing things, pulling braces off, putting them back on. Uh, and um, yeah, I don't know, for me anyway, that, that, that feeling of kind of um, really realizing you screwed up and having to kind of undo some stuff and redo some stuff, it, it's kind of draining. And at this point, you know, I, I could put in some more time, but I'm just feeling a little burned out by it. So what I want to talk about today is the idea of if you get into a situation where you find something's kind of frustrating to you and you don't feel like you're going to do your top-notch work on it just because you're aggravated by it or you don't like the fact that you got to redo it or whatever. Sometimes it's a good idea to uh, either, you know, if it is the end of the day, maybe break and just, you know, sleep on it overnight, come back fresh in the morning. That's what I'm going to do. Or if that happens in the middle of the day, you know, maybe jump off to something else. You know, find some other tasks you need to work on, work on that for a little while, and then come back and be fresh. Uh, I know at least psychologically that really helps me. If you're in a bind and that's the only thing to do, sometimes you just have to, you know, grit your teeth and do what you got to do. Uh, but if you have an opportunity to kind of jump off to something else uh, and work with your frustration, you know, let it kind of vent off and then come back to it fresh. Sometimes that can be a really helpful thing to do and that's why I wanted to talk about today and that's what I'm doing. So I'll see you guys tomorrow and I'll get all these things nice and plumb. The electrician's coming tomorrow and he's starting the last of his stuff and according to him he only has like two maybe three days of work and then rough inspection. That's it. Thanks for watching.